Ash, okay, we're gonna on the camera. Not on the camera. We're gonna yeah, how many people just did their situational writing? Very good. I'm gonna go through with all of you today, but today we there's a small favor later on. I want you to uh I really enjoy uh, thank you so much. Uh. Uh, I know you just don't like it, uh, but I have still have to do it. Uh. Okay, I really have to stand up and say thank you very much. Uh. Okay, I really want to bow and thank you very much. To all of you, thank you very much for handing your homework. I really, really enjoy it. Seriously, you don't see teacher bow to student, right? That is me. So, okay, I really enjoy marking a lot of your students. As it really make my days, even though I'm very busy for the past few days, okay, bring my mommy to go for vaccines and, 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 and doing my policing duties here and there. No problems, uh, Yishu. It's okay. Uh. All right, let's start the lesson proper. Today, we're going to go through this some of the essay. And uh, what we're going to have here for today's lesson is about this one. Okay, we're going to cover all this for your media exam. It's called the AE squared, D squared, and us. Okay, what is this? These are all here. I think all of you will understand what it is. Okay, first of all, a quick one. Now, girls, the two girls, if you cannot follow, it's okay. Don't take it so stressed out, please. Okay, you, by now, the, all of you were in the class, you know Uncle Raymond style already. Yeah? Okay, we all must think like a freak. Huh? So what is setting? Okay, Mingyi, what is setting? How do you start an essay with setting? Flashback, uh, okay. introduction. Okay. What else? Setting means you must have a place, right? Oh, no, metaphobia. No, no. Setting, you must have a place, a place that you must set your story in. Okay. So for example, yeah, the, oh, well, well, how... yes, okay. Issue, what happened to issue? Huh? In and out. Issue, are you okay? Yes, okay. There's not really setting, it's a place where you are supposed to have your story to take place. Main character, Yipo, who are the main characters? What is protagonist and antagonist? Of course, huh? This year, uh, don't give me the kind of looks, okay? Now, what is atmosphere, Aitan? Like, the, like the situation there. It's like, the, like the atmosphere, like, if it's a competition, the atmosphere is very exciting, then... Get on, get on, well done. Good, good, keep it up. It's like a very sad place. The atmosphere is very depressing. Mm -hmm. Atmosphere is like happy, sad. How you bring the story, okay, to the next, okay, level. Now, what is rhythm? Like it's just like it's just like your speaking rhythm. Okay, no, the rhythm is a paragraphing. Okay, next paragraph, next paragraph. Okay. This one, I need you to on your camera. Okay, don't mind, ah. All right, you must on your camera. At least you show your forehead. Thank you so much for your understanding. If not, my boss will going to scold me. All right, just thank you. Forehead. The title, yeah, I mean, at least like that, lah, okay? To show that you, at least you can knock your head. I can see that you understand and things like that. All right, so next, move on. Remember last two weeks or last week, we are supposed to write a letter of complaint and compliment letter, right? Some of you wrote and sent it to me, okay? I already taken action and already fired the salesman A and promote salesman B. But the content itself that you all wrote is uh, a bit later. We're going to adjust it, huh? Okay. So, just a quick one here. Uh, don't don't no no more touching on this, huh? Okay. Let's go through quickly, yeah. Huh? Get some idea that let then later we're going to go through each and every one their essay. Okay. Now, argumentative. Let's start with, uh, who? Yipo. Can you read this argumentative? So this will be the essay later you, all, you guys have to choose and do. Uh. Can you just read the first one here? Argumentative. Parents are overindulgent today. Do you agree? And so what does it mean? That means, is it true that parents are being pampering their children? Parents are taking too much of their time in their work and they have no time with their kids. So they use the materialistic ones to kind of make their children feel good about it. Is it true? Okay, so carry on. Parents are overindulgent. Oh, and, and argumentative essay is an essay that uses evidence and facts to support the claim it makes. Its purpose to persuade the reader to agree with the argument being made. A good argumentative essay will use fact and evidence to support the argument 
rather than just author's thought and opinion. So you have to decide when you are writing this essay. Are you do you agree that it is true that all parents using the SMRT? Yeah. Okay. Where is the setting is going to be? Is it at home? Is it in school? Is it outside in shopping center? Like recently, I was um, having dinner with my family in one of the shopping center. So this little boy was really sitting there and crying and ah, yeah, it's not so sorry, it's not annoying and irritating, right? When people are having their, their meals and they're crying. So the, the, the parents say, keep quiet, don't cry. But still cry. Then at the end of the day, he put one iPad on top in front of him. Wow, the boy just keep quiet. Is this the right way to do it? No, last time if we all do that, yeah, yeah. The first thing is like Lu Lai Shen Zan, boom. Your uncle will fly through the other side, boom, like Zhou Xingzi, this is very exaggerated. Not like now. Uh, now the parents don't cry. Then especially when you've got grandparents, uh, oh my goodness, I tell you. You ask for the moon, uh, they'll bring down the moon for you. Uh, that kind of thing, very exaggerating. Uh, uh, Eric. So I, I think we're born in the wrong era. Uh, okay? Now the kids uh, are well pampered. So something like that. So who is the main characters? The main characters will be the parents, the teenagers, the children. How are you going to define it? Okay? Who are the good guys? Who are the bad guys? What kind of plots are we talking about? Is it true or not? Okay, all these questions, by the way, our children, they are giving to you. Uh, it's not for set one and set two. Huh? So, Aita, Mingyi, whoever, don't please, Mingyi, for now on, I don't want to hear any negative uh, or anybody to tell me your, your result is no good. I told you, in this class, we are teaching leaders. We are not teaching students. Uh, okay, the reason why you are not doing well, that is the reason why you come in to learn. Okay, so I don't want to hear any negative. Here is improvement. My job is to train you guys to be better. Not to can tell you, hey, you boy, your English sucks. La. You're really bad. No? That's not the way, huh? okay? Let's work together. Negative. I think we have to take away the negative. Seriously. Nobody in this room here, in this chat group, want to feel. If you want to feel, feel with bridges. Like yesterday, I was marking my younger son English. Horrendous. Really horrendous. Okay, which paragraph tells you this? You know what you tell me? Paragraph three. La. <laughs> you must tell you which paragraph, right? So which, uh, okay, sorry. Which sentence in paragraph tells you this? You can tell me sentence three. So my wife was saying that, uh, my wife was saying, why are you going to shame your son? This no, we are sharing. Like, I thought you would say, right? I got one student write this. Uh, why did the author angry? I'm not the author. Technically, it's not wrong. It's not wrong because uh, actually, I write that when I first come to Singapore. Remember last week? Uh, correct. Uh, if those people will laugh at you, don't worry. You should take it as a pinch of salt. You learn to be better. Okay? When I was learning Japanese, people was laughing at me. Cannot speak Japanese well and things like that. I learned. Okay, like last week, remember, what are the greatest things that you like to do? Remember, you hang the paper empty. Without submitting, right? Remember last week we talked about this essay, these questions. So please, okay, we have enough stress, we have enough torturing our brain already. We must positive. We really need positive on that. Okay, issue is okay. Thank you for your really open opinions and share with us how you went through all these things. Okay. Remember, this will be part of your history in failures, in which is the essay that we're going to write. And I really enjoyed Ranchen the essay. Oh, seriously, superb, man. Seriously. Very snobbish, very attitude, but at the end of the day, you really bring the essence of it, okay? So this is argumentative. It's very important. All this essay is for set three and set four. Huh? And you don't tell me because you're set one, you cannot do it. I'm not interested to hear that, okay? I'm seriously. Okay, it's your attitude as a leader to do it. Number two, you sure your turn? Explanatory. What are the positive and negative impacts on social media to a teenager in day's 21st century. Well, I tell you, uh, stop, uh, stop. Uh. It's so coincident that when I was doing this essay at that time, just now, Ran Chen, where are you, Ran Chen? You saw my, my, my son teaching my student now, right? Okay. That boy just came to me. He was my ex-student for five years, uh, and now he's in uh, JC. So he's bring this question in GP, no? Okay, let me read the question to you. Uh. Okay, he was sending this question to me. Yeah. I'm now reading for my handphone. Yeah. Okay, for my handphone now. Yeah. You see how yeah, the question is here. Yeah. 
Okay, the question say, assess the view that social media has improved the quality of our communications. So there will definitely be a positive. And by the way, this is A-level uh, essay. Uh, it's 800 words. Uh, 800 words. Within two hours, you must complete it now. Okay, guys. All right, it's just like going to university. Uh, you have to write five to 10,000 words. You ask your parents, they will know about it. So this is an essay, positive, negative. You should carry on, as, do the explanation, please. Thank you, sir. An experimental essay is a type of writing in which the author presents some points of view on a certain topic. Then, what is it? This view does not necessarily have to be one that the writer agrees with, but it must have some research and logic to make it feasible. Feasible. To make it feasible. feasible. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, what it means here that how do you start the peace spot? I think most of you, Ipo, what is peace spot? The fable idiom simile in the finish it. Come on. Evil idiom simile a proverb. The O. Occupation. Thank you, Aitan. Awesome. Then the other. Chi Tong Wu Yuan. Chi Kan Ya Yi. Chi Xue Xiao. Start with P. Nang Ning. Yes, Yishu. Uh, nothing, nothing. I didn't say anything. It's P stands for places. Okay. So, how do you start off with this essay? One man's meat is another man's poison. Ke Hua Lu Ke Yan. In my opinions, okay, do you think that social media is really bad? It's really show a negative impact. No? Yes, it is true, negative to a certain extent, but I think the greatest impact is the positive impact the social media has for all of us in today's 21st century. So this is how you start off your introductions. The reason why I put one, two, three has the first important one because I will explain to you guys, okay? Don't, don't mind, uh. okay, so, okay. You fun? Expository war and cloning, which is more serious to mankind. An expository essay is a form of structured academic writing that uses factual sure. evidence to explain or investigate a specific topic. Okay. This morning, when I was going to market with my, my eldest wife, yeah, you found say, huh? Elder's wife? Lao Shen you chica lao bo. Okay, laptop. Oppo iPhone. So I treat that as all oh, my wife. The guys you don't love, huh? Sure. All of you who are you also treat your head as your wife. <laughs> don't love uh, all of you guys who are going for national service. Uh, you will treat your M16, your rifle, as your wife. Uh. If you watch our boys to men, you'll understand what it means. Uh, okay. So this it's morning I went to as your wife. <laughs> okay. So today is uh what I say, I went to see one of my students' uh, mom. You're saying that at least now he's able to speak English. He's been all along speaking Chinese Mandarin to his uh, Chinese Mandarin. To his family members. So this is a good start off. And you're able to use P Spot now for a P6 student. As you know, P6 also very stressed for this year. Huh? Very stressed. Okay. So what happened here is that you know, war and cloning. This question came out many years ago. Uh, in one of the set four as well. I think it's one of the A-level questions. Okay. So what it means, I wish on you know what is cloning, right? Yifan? You know what is cloning? Just I clone to a yifan, and that is cloning and genetically engineering. Yes, yes. Who is that one saying that? Who is one? Who is the one talking just now? Me. Me, me is who? Ming Yang. Ah? Yeah, yes, correct. So I clone another 
Ming Yang, so that you can take care of your brother while you can do your study. Okay, something like cloning is which one is more serious? So some of them complain that cloning is more serious because I can clone another Hitler, I can clone another Qin Shi Huang, I can clone someone that is bad to make the world more, more serious, more oh. chaotic. But some people oh. say because uh, of you know it's literally impossible to clone clone people. Say again. Yeah. Uh, if, if you you're trying to clone people from the past, people. right? You need you need both you need both the biological mother and biological father. But you know that this Dory the sheep, right? I, I guess I know that I, I, I know that sheep, but then but then that she is creating a new generation, not creating a generation based on the old old generation. Let's say let's say you watch Juristic Partner, the first episode is a bit quite quatang as that's read. Let's say there's really scientific proven that can be cloned. Let's say I can clone another Liang Ning. Would you want to? No? You should. If I clone another issue of you or Ipo or any one of you here, okay, uh, Yanessa, maybe, uh, uh, yeah, oh. yeah. So, would you want not? Would you want to clone another person exactly same like you? I would want to, no? And number one, okay, this question will related to religions. Why? In terms of religion, it is not advisable. Well, will that person's personality be the same as exactly? It won't be. It won't. It can be. Let's say. Yeah. Let's say we put everything on one it side. It won't be. Uh, sure. Cannot. Definitely cannot. Like, because to have the person will not have memory of his like previous life. If he's like a newborn. Yeah. Maybe let's say we can. Uh, we can. Let's say we yeah. put it. Okay. Maybe in, in in five. Let's say we do it like now. Anything can be possible. Would you want to do it? I I do. Would you want to have another one like that? I don't think so, right? For so what? It depends on how the... I can't hear you, Ishu. Can you can hear? Yeah, yeah, okay, better. So, it depends because... Uh, it, depends, it depends on how the cone is. If the cone is exactly the same as me right now, mm. then I might want to, actually. But it's against you, against the law. No? Uh, in fact, it's a really stop, you know, uh, like the cloning of the sheep because they worry not enough food mass. Remember, this month topic is about scarcity, about procrastination, inertia, and failure. So this topic comes in on the right time. Is that do you think it's necessary? Because now human okay, now with these stupid things called pandemic COVID-19, so many people die. Should we clone people like those famous people? Knows a lot of people die because of COVID-19, right? No, so, you'll just out spread more. No. Oh, okay. So very good. So you see, you're explaining, you're using fat. Well done. So do you realize the first three topics you... are very close to your heart, listen, uh, are very close to your heart because it is going to be affecting you in your future study, in your future planning, especially you are going to set three and set four, we are doing higher learnings like history and geography and social study. Okay. And then when you go to A-level or even go to University of Poly, the topic is getting even more heavier and more... Uh, facts of things to find out. So these are the three topics that close to your heart, even though you are a set one student. Now let's go to a bit more relaxing point of view, okay? Okay, Yanissa, can you be able to read this? Uh, Number four, uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, a descriptive essay gives a vivid, detailed description of something, generally a place or object but possibly something more abstract, like an emotion. Descriptive, uh, descriptive essays test your ability to use language in an original and creative way to convey to the reader a memorable image or whatever you are describing. Thank you. Are you Singaporean, may I ask? Or are yeah. you from, born in Singapore, Singaporean, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, well read. Huh? Seriously. Good. So, Trevor, how are you going to make it so descriptive? And I know lah, I got students tell me, Uncle, of all the time now, I can't travel. And you purposely put this topic, travel here. Make me, you know, you know, make me feel jealous out of it. So, travel is how you describe. Maybe bring about, you have been travel, you know, um, I come from a very poor family until maybe I was start to go overseas to study. I, I travel to England to study. Other than that, I don't travel a lot unless my work in the past. But when I travel, I even I go alone, I don't feel good. In, you know, if, if I were to, like the two years I went to China in Beijing, 
Okay, my family will go and visit those shopping centers, whatever it is. I will just go to... Mingyang, can you cut away your background? The background change. Yeah, do you like to be alone? Don't mind, huh? cut away your background. The one who's throwing the stupid thing. Yeah, thanks. You know, it's not you. Huh? I get distracted with the two boys. I, suddenly, I cannot talk. Because I find it's very <laughs> irritating because of... Sorry, huh? not, not your fault. Huh? Sorry, uh, Ling, uh, Mingyi, you say something? Do you like be... Like to be alone? No, I don't like to travel alone, seriously. I, I definitely need to travel with my wife or even uh, my partners to go for... Yeah, because no man is an island. No, it's not that, my dear. But it's just why? That I don't like, seriously. In fact, I got a lot of opportunity to go to Dubai to teach English, to go to China to teach here and there. Wait a minute, you actually have an opportunity to go to Dubai? Yes, uh, 15 years ago well-paid job, no? US $6,000. I really feel Why like not? Not? No, Why I don't. Not? No, I don't. No, no. I miss my family. And especially, I, I I, would love to take care of my mom. Just uh, take them out. Just uh, move out. No, yeah. I, 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 I don't like. But like last year, I, you can just I need move to out. go to, I need to go to Cambodia to, to do some charity works. I feel very awkward. Okay, so that's me now. Okay, that's me. Okay. Anyway, um, how are you gonna describe travel for, for my experience when I was in China? The first thing I landed in the airport, the first thing I told the driver, Wayao Chi Ku Kong. You know where is the place, right? My wife find it feel it very boring. Why are you going to look at all these old ancient buildings, all the Huang Ti State? You know? I really literally go and read through all the different that the dynasty that all this is me. So this is how I've described my travel. And then uh, when I go to Great Wall of China, I really literally like standing there and imagine how the war started with the Mongolians, how the Chinese people built the war, how the Meng, Meng, Meng Jiang Ku Chan Chen, right? Meng Mu or Meng Jiang? Ah. There's this lady, right? You know, right, Yifan? Meng. Meng Jiang. Meng what? Meng. Meng Jiang. Meng Jiang Ku Chan Chen, right? Ku that Chan Chen Dao? Then, then, not the Meng Jiang Ku Chan Chen, then Meng Jiang Ku is what? City Hall? Ah? Raffles hey. Place? Ah? <laughs> right? Meng Jiang Ku Merlion. Meng Jiang Ku Merlion. Meng Jiang Ku Merlion. No wonder you keep spoiling all the water. <laughs> so it's like, I imagine that I described the whole things with my, when I came back from my travel, I used that to describe to my student how I feel that when I was there, you know, mesmerizing the whole environments, uh, these magnificent buildings, I was you know, so proud of it. You know, and things like that. And then when I go to London, I look at the Tafara Square, no big deal, you know, things like that. What London Bridge, the, the clock. Wow, so grand. You no, know, my mom loved it. She was there, loved it. But honestly, I feel so. Maybe because I'm not the, the European kind. I'm more to my Asian. So when I go to Thailand, I look at the, the temple. I look at the, the, the artifacts. That's me uh, because being a history teacher. Uh, so I feel it. So my descriptions of travel is, might be different from you. So this bring up the very vivid, very uh, xi uh, very vibrance, uh, the way they describe the things. Okay, thank you. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you so much. Discuss safe. Lang Ning? Uh, discussive. A uh, discussive essay is actually where you, you are required to write on something, which can be either argued for a topic or against the topic. However, some discussive essays can also be written in a way where you don't have to choose any particular side, but to pre present present your views on both sides in a balanced manner. Exactly, you see. So the way I describe, can you take away the English, the, the red color words, then whoever type it out. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? So you see the traveling open one mind to see differently. So wait, by one pool, we can. A picture speaks a thousand words. Now, traveling is, I think seriously, all of you should go to travel around the world after this pandemic. Because, not because of the airfare or whatever it is. So, if you want to improve and expose more knowledge, you need to travel, especially um, my friends, he's a Christian, he always go to places that is very ping chung. Okay, very run down like Cambodia, Vietnam, or even certain part of China. Even my when I was a teacher, ex-teacher, my student would go to China to certain parts to take the build houses for these poor kids, you know, things like that. 
okay, we go back to return to society. So traveling is like how you see the world differently. There's always the good, the bad, the ugly. And how you're going to bring this and discuss and make it more interesting so that people will buy your idea, the S-M-A-R-T, your setting is where? Who is the main characters there? Okay, the bad guys for this traveling, if you are going to poor countries, it's not about the people, it's about the poverty. It's about the government who is not willing to take care of the people. You know, as a good leader, you don't just take care for the rich, you must take care of the poor. You must take care of these people. They also part and parcel of the citizens of the country. Then you have to talk about what kind of atmosphere it is. Now, I think a few weeks ago, I read the essay. Now, sit down and listen to me, right, Ming Yang? Ming Yi, right? Very, very touching, right? About how the cousin died and it really draw tears to you, the emotional feelings. Okay? Thank you so much. Ming Yang, your turn. Narrative. A narrow escape. Narrative essays tell a vivid story, usually from one person's viewpoint. A narrative essay uses all the story elements, a beginning, middle, and ending, as well as plot, characters, settings, and climax, bringing them together to complete the story. Oh, I tell you, uh, your readings is really no good. Can, you, can, you, can I see your face, please? Can I see your face now? Yeah, serious, serious. Yes. Your reading is no good, no? Your reading is awesome. I tell you what, I tell you what, Ming Yang. I think you, since you got a little brother, right? Okay, I like the way you pronounce the word middle. So maybe uh, when you, when your, your little brother wants to sleep at time, guy, Titi, come, come, come. Kokor going to read bedtime story to you. You better read properly. You don't read once upon a time. I think your brother will say, God, thanks. Uh. I, I listen to Google can reading. I think you read once upon a time and the reading can mesmerize him. No, seriously, Ming Yang. And why not? Uh? Why not you create your own uh, bedtime story or children's story, uh, write your own essay? No, seriously. And then make it into a book and then read to your brother. And then your brother will uh, learn. It's a one stone kill two birds. No, each year earn now. Very good ideas. Very good reading. Seriously. Okay, too bad uh, you're not in my the other class. Uh, if not, you read. Okay. Uh, the reason why I uh, don't tell Ran Chen, uh, he's not here. Don't tell him. Uh. I don't want him to read. Uh. The way he read, uh, them sian, uh. I don't want him to read. Okay. I don't want him to read. Okay. Uh, I don't want him to read. Okay. I don't want him to read. Okay. Okay. Yes. I found one. And the way to, you know, this one is recorded, right? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> Yin Fan. Now you know why I call Yi Shi the old school. So cute, right? Don't want to talk to Yi Shi. Okay. Right. Okay. Yi Shi, this is Kwan Yi. It's not in the world. Please. You are really know, a very... I know, but... Uh, okay. Just to share with you, uh, Yi Shi. That day I was telling my younger son, I think you should be a nurse. My younger son straight away cannot take it. I don't want to be a nurse. I don't want to be a su tai zi. But yes, I told him, you know, all the top management in the world are all su tai zi nerds. That's why they can, can be a CEO. Do you want to be the other end? Then he asked me, what is the other end? Naughty lah. Notorious. Do you want that? Mm, Daddy, I don't want. I, I'd rather be a nerd. Big brain. That's right, man, Ming Yang. That's right. Okay, all of you here have more than big brain. Yeah, yeah. Can you do the last one for the class, please? Before I would go through all the essay, and the first one you're going to read later is Harry. Recount the personal recount on phone of game addiction. A recount tells about something that happened in the past. The details in a recount can include what happened, who was involved, where it took place when it happened and why it occurred. A writer or speaker uses a recount to tell a story, tell us about a story or an event. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. If I were to ask all of you here in this chat and ask you to stand in front of a, a room, uh, maybe maybe your, your, based on your, your classmate or the parents, uh, as, as you can hear and get quite sick and tired at times, Parents will come and tell the teacher when you meet the teachers, meet the teacher's conference, or even tell your tuition teacher or tell anyone, ah, my son and my daughter is being addicted to phones, to, to games. How can you stop them from playing games and handphone, right? 
So yeah, yeah, if you will have a chance to stand in front to tell the parents that playing handphone is not addictions, all right? It kind of helps you. Now, the way you laugh, <laughs> you're really crazy, Uncle Raymond. Talk to the parents. Where the hell the parents say, well said, man. Yeah, yeah. The parents will slap me. No, you won't slap you. You know, you're well done, Mingyi. I will ask my son to play handphone 10 hours per day. No need to study. I'm here this, uh, seriously, when I say the word serious, uh, that... Very funny. Uh. Every time my parents tell me my child is playing handphone, my child is addicted to game, then sometimes I ask myself, do you play handphone and, and, and addicted to phone as well? How come parents can do it? Children cannot do it. Uh? And I always say that it is, isn't it be good that your child is playing handphones and game rather than go out and smoke, join gang, uh, go and steal things in 7-Elevens, go and glue sniffing, go and do upskirt, can do all those funny things. Don't laugh, no. When I was in discipline before in my ex school, huh? don't laugh, Anchan. Don't do upskirt. Go and take, no, go and take people's panties or whatever it is. This ridiculous. Yes. What? Stress. You should. What? Stress. And then stop girl. Imagine somebody stop Yi Fan go home or stop Ya Ye or, or whoever, you see. You scared not. Imagine you should. Got, got a guy stop you, go home, you scared not. Um, he should be scared. He should be scared. Ah, look on the hands of Look on the you got guy no, 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 who will follow you home. It's like LGBT, no, right? True, no. don't laugh. The no, moment... no matter it is a boy or girl, the one following me should be uh, scared because you know why? Right? No. He should be scared of me because. Oh. Usually, I will always uh, bring weapons with me. Oh my goodness. Uh, I have a I have a skill called a skill. You don't have to talk to me. Oh yeah, I forgot this is recorded. Uh, no, you know what my other work is? Oh, 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 shit. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't hear it, I didn't hear it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> right. I so uh, I just recently shared with them recently my police job was doing anti scam. Uh, and we are doing uh, thanks to Liang Ning to how teach me how to clear the annotation. So that day we we're doing uh, anti scam with Zoom with all the old folks home. Uh. Surprising old folks home also got your handphone, right? Sometimes. And these old folks people sometimes they stay in the old folks home because the children don't want them. And then they got them some saving, right? So they are being conned to give up their savings to all these, sorry, very bad people. So uh, we also do anti scam door to door as police. We go door to door and tell people not to fall into trap to this handful scam by people. I told you before, when I was doing duty, this old lady came to the police station and told me she lost $90,000. Yeah, $90,000. Sing P ninety thousand, you can change and convert to Renming P. How much is it? I was like, I don't believe her, no, until I saw the bank book account. You see, so be careful. Tell your parents or anyone, your your grandparents, don't fall. Anything that call, no. Singapore governments only send letter to your letter box. They will not call your handphone to say that you have a fine. Your your daughter or your who is in under my hand. So things like that. No, I got one friend, very funny. Uh, he called up and said, um, you, you have owed me $5,000. So my friend said this, ah, uh, I think you have $10,000. So he said, don't pay so much, $5,000. No, $10,000. The Chinese government will pay you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the government will pay you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You find you got the idea? The government will pay you. That's the one that will pay you. <laughs> That's a good one, right? Okay, and then of course, the next thing, the phone was being cut off. So be careful. Uh, and then don't answer when you see a number plus 65. Uh, please, uh, this is... Oh, okay. the, no, plus 65, do not answer. If you answer, do not do not say hello. Wait for it first. Confirm and then when they answer, scam call. Yeah. When they answer anything off your phones, okay, and off it as in maybe wait for 20 to 30 seconds on it. 
Okay, or then you block your number. Be careful on all these things, huh? Just to share Why? with you. They can track no, because... your location. Yes. No, because wait, is it? Yes, sometimes yes. That's... Be careful. No wonder. You are tell you you are police, right? You in charge of scam scam and such things, right? Yes, we are now. Uh, I have to, I, I have received can. like three scam uh call. And then email one also, of uh? it. And email wait, also, huh? One you of it called thing. my name. Hmm. Pronounced very correctly, called my name, and I mm. don't know that person. I don't know where where they got it. So can I give you the number? No. The okay. The next thing is that when you got all this number, screenshot it, and then send it to your mommy or daddy. If not, you can go to the nearest police stations and log a report. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's something like fishing. You're right. No, no, yeah. seriously, it's okay to log into a report. Oh yes, you can send to seven one triple nine. You're right, man. Hey, you can join the police force already, man. Well done. <laughs> You know all the procedure, huh? very good. We are here to protect life and, and property. Okay, and all these scammers are really very bad. Okay, they do it and then all their old people's savings are gone. So please remind each other, only governments will send letter to your letterbox. They will not call you and ask you for details. If they do, if they say that, oh, your mommy is waiting there, please come and things like that. First thing is, okay, if you have two hand phone, Better still, the other handphone, WhatsApp, and check with your parents. Okay? I know Singapore is a very safe place, but there is always possibility that people, there's still crime on it. Okay? So for this one, phone or game addiction, well, it all depends on how you see it. Uh, one man's meat is another man's poison. So doesn't mean playing games are bad. Sometimes playing games, in fact, I, I told the last nice lesson, me, Yes, don't fall into scan. That's why right. you got this. These are uh, Mingyang. Mingyang just screenshot the, the whole thing. Yes, thank you. So you get it from the police side. Lah. Must be, right? Thanks for sharing. So sometimes when the, all these type of things, you make sure you must be safe and sound. So what, what, what did I say just now? Halfway. Oh, now I'm also very addicted to TikTok. Uh. Every night about 12 a.m. I will suck. No, you're wrong. It some TikTok on videos this. stuck. But no. some are inspirational. Some are very inspiration, yes. But there's a lot of bull crap on like TikTok. Some no. are, but no, most of it are not. I'm not asking you to those watching those stupid things. They are very motivation to one, seriously. They yeah, are, yes. but I cannot find. You can find them. Too. It's all yeah. bull crap. Yes, and you have to filter it. Remember the two monks I'm talking about? Remember there's a story about two monks and then this, this boy was being blind and after that when, when the people asked him, you better bring your son to see doctor. These are all from TikTok. Okay? You cannot say it's no good. Okay? You cannot say it's no good. Oh, okay. No, no. Okay, I'm talking to my wife. They are bringing my dog for a walk at this time. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think my poor Japanese pig will be <laughs> dehydrated. Okay, thank you for all the all of you to discuss of this. So uh, then again, phone is additions or game is addition. It all depends on how I have seen some of my students are being addicted, playing 2, 3 a.m. Uh, then after that, go to school, the hands start shaking and, and cannot pass their exam and test. And even some of them have to write a contract to, to hold on to their laptop. Some even when they hold up their laptop by their parents, they fight with their parents. Oh my goodness. This is really too extreme, maybe. My question always asked to all the students, including all of you here. You need to continue to play games. Okay, you need to, to really sometimes to unwind yourself. Nothing wrong. But where is your limit? Like for me, every night, 12 a.m. onwards, I will watch TikTok for one hour until 1.30. Okay, then I will check my 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 Google to see any any homework come in and things like that. Then I'll stay about two three o'clock, six o'clock wake. So uh, so late. Yeah, then six o'clock I wake up to fetch my son to school. Then I go for my exercise. I do my every morning six o'clock I wake up and pray to my God, read my Bible. Then I go for my breakfast and sometimes I bring my mom for for checkup. That's the routine most of the time. But I enjoy it seriously. I always think positive that I'm still able to walk. I'm still able to do a lot of things. Like this Thursday, I'm going to work in a restaurant as part of my training program. 
to, to mop the floor, to sweep the floor, to barbecue the, the pork, to serve the customer and things like that. Okay, okay. you always you should so if you so you say you are uh you are very lucky that you can still walk right now, right? But mm. if you see earlier, you can walk more. It's okay. I mean, if you can work, work. Even if you cannot, you always think of these people who are on a wheelchair, who are selling tissue paper in the MRT. All right. Why do you, you think they want I to mean, sell that? And then why people are bustling around along the, the, the MRT? Wait a sun chan a sun chun. Okay, guys, take this word here. Are not. You don't remember this word, right? I sent to all of you. This is a very powerful word. All our parents are doing it for our, for y'all, you see. Think about it. Y'all can sit here, enjoy the air cons, the ambience, the environments. I think about 8 million children in the world there. No? You know, my Indian students, since you say that, I, actually, I want to move on with the issue. One of my Indian students came to, from, Singapore, from India to Singapore. Uh, I, told, I, he, I, I asked him one thing, uh, how y'all survive through? Uh, and he told me, uh, sorry, uh, 你懂是, 你懂什么是米, uh-huh. Yeah, Nisa, do you know what is Mitian Kong? Uh, isn't that a very old Chinese joke? No, no, you know what is uh, Mitian Kong? Uh? Just, uh, you know, right, Ranchan? Mitian Kong, huh? Just a tap in, ah. The thing comes yeah, out from your It's a very nice side. substance. You will eat it. It's very nice. <laughs> it's a very nice one to say it, ah. So, you know how you find Mitian Kong just a tap in. You guess what? You know, for us, when we go and poo poo, ah, uh, shit, ah. Uh, eating now. I'm so sorry. It just happened, sorry, then you better stop eating. Uh. It's going to be very disgusting, I'm uh, telling you true. So we usually use tissue paper and water to clean, right? But in India, uh, they don't have paper and tissue to clean, no? and their shit stuck on their backside. And sometimes the ants will eat their backside no, while they're sleeping on the floor. No. I was really... I, 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 I'm not... It's not sure, funny. no, the ants eat shit. Ringy! This is fat. It can be ants, it can be centipede, it can be anything. It's that bad, you know, seriously, you know, Mingyi. They thank God we are staying in Singapore, no. Poor thing, right? Very sad, right? True, true, no. They can't even have the affordability to buy a toilet paper to clean their backside. Eh? Just use leaf. Leaf is good, right? True enough, I did suggest that. But most yeah, of the villagers, not, their place is very warm, very dry season. So, you know what the... Uh, Ay, good thing. Uh, what people in the past use to clean their backside, except for water? SK2. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. You use that... What is that? What is that? What is that? You know? Huh? Don't know. That, I don't know why it's like. That, that is like so hard. And how are you supposed to clean? I don't know why it's like. Anyway, just go out there. A kind it, of uh, way like, to clean it la, last time. It's okay, kind but, of like ceramic pieces or what? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, anyway. Uh, Harry, are you ready? No, uh, wait, uh, wait. Uh. Harry is going to read this essay. If you think he's very stuck out and snobbish and arrogant, uh, please show a hand and a sign to slap him. Uh. <laughs> what that means? No, no, you read ah. I'm telling you, ah, you read the time, you really want to hit him, ah, you really want to hit him, really. Okay, but you have to read it. Just like TikTok, ah, you must finish watching the whole TikTok, then you know. Okay, we're going to sit back, sit back, listen to the sound. Let's put your ears together and listen to Harry. Let's go. Okay, Should I read? So, uh, you read the title. I really learned to fail in life. All my life, I have listened to my see, parents. Yeah, before he start already, he's laughing already. He's so stuck up. <laughs> you see, all my life. <laughs> so happy, like, never feel in his life. Eh. Okay, Yanisa and Yao Yun, you may not know him, uh, but he's a very nice boy. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, all my life, I've listened to my parents, teachers, and friends, all babbling nonchalantly about the greatness of success, the ultimate triumph, and the utter pride, and the fame and how that winning is the only way to succeed. If not, you have failed. I'm, I'm just doing that, uh, Ransan. 
Can you imagine your mommy talking to Uncle Raymond's or friends say, Ay yo, you know your son's mother is very smart, very clever, very good. Then, then like, yeah, you see, Ranzhen every time pass that test one. Oh, how many? Uh? 70? Mm -mm. 80? Mm -mm. Wow, so how many? Always 90 and 100. Uh. Can you imagine Uncle Raymond sit on the chair and fell down? Go! <laughs> okay? It's so, like, so arrogant, right? Never feel in the life. You don't believe, huh? You don't believe, let's go. I remember the day I got my results back. The results slip wrote a big red, big red letters of A plus, radiating a diamond pride from it. I remember my teacher announcing my scores to the whole class, praising and cheering for my success. Stop! I stop. remember. This is remind me of Zhou Xingshi. Eh? <laughs> you know, very proud right there. You know that kind of things, waving to the the, the air. He's so proud. Okay, carry on. I remember the thunderous applause reverberating around the class. You may be wondering, aren't you on cloud nine? You have literally passed your end of your exams with flying colors. This is an amazing feat, but I wasn't. You see, what well, A plus leh. Huh, Yu Fan? How's that Shao Ling Zhu Chiu Jiang? Well, very proud leh. A plus leh, Ming Yang. Huh, you should. Well, A plus leh. How many people can get A plus and still I'm not proud of it? So what? Normal, uh, normal. Wait, so, wait. I used to be like that until I get. There's a possibility a... that they cheat. Wow, Ran Chen, your buddy here say you cheat. No, what you say? Your buddy Ran Chen say, Ming Yang, thank you. Huh? Later, I go to the house and see you already. You should, what do you say? Sorry. Uh, never mind. Don't no. it's okay. It's okay. So, get on. Don't stop that. I don't like never mind. Just say it. It's okay. What do you say? I say I used to be like that until mm. I go, came to secondary school. Hey, guys, it's nothing wrong to be proud of your success. Leh. I mean, after, what I really mean is that after I came to secondary school, I never get success. I never success again. No, it's not. Mm. Hey, hey, hello, excuse me. You should. Can mm. you stop saying that I never get the success? You haven't found the right way, the right method, the right attitude to get success. T2, huh? if you always say that I never find a way to get success, then you forever will never find success. Huh? Never have negative. You always must tell yourself, how can I find the right way, the right methods, and how can I turn the tide? Feng Shui Lu Niu Zhuan, Niu Zhuan Qian Kun. Yeah, Chinese is so good. No, no, no. I disagree. Not because I will yao carry you favor, or I just want to please you. No, no. I think I know what to say, and I'm very frank with you, Yishu, or anyone here in this group. Success is not final. Yes, you're right, Mingyi. Well done. And you write so much. Huh? And you only hold me handing homework less than five. Eh? I think better for now on, you better handle it. See? <laughs> Ranta is laughing at you. But you see, you write very well, Mingyi. Well said. Feeling is not fatal. It is true. Mingyi, I agree with you. So, Yishu. Later you read and this one you understand. Don't you see because of that you become very introvert. Because of that you be, you are you are, you are not enough confidence. Because of that you are going to a school secondary school environment. People will tell you, hey, you should just shut up lah. Don't show up lah. Get lost lah. Can you don't read like that? Can you talk like that? You don't own them a living. You should. You don't care. Choose five of your good friends that care for you. Hey, you should. Hey, what's happened to you? Huh? Hey, come really? on, everybody. Fuck up. Don't read. You get I me? Mean? You owe talking. your living to your parents, to your future. All right? So stop making that negative statement that you cannot find success. There's no point. Okay, never mind. But what? Uh, you want to tell me yeah. later separately, ah? Huh? Okay, let's go. Um, uh, that day I was walking home from school with a rather straight face. I felt very dull and bored. Why, you may ask, well, it's because I have always been getting these scores for the past few years straight. It may seem very special and astounding at first, but when it happens again and again, repeating profusely, it starts to get boring. I thought to myself, all this time I have succeeded, each time getting higher scores and a handsome result slip. What's the point? Many philosophers say that a man's learning journey is endless. There's no limit to knowledge and there's no answer to everything. That's why we are continuing to grow and learn every, each and every day. That However, is what, sorry, sorry. That is what this sentence, Ranchen, Harry, 
really touches my heart that I think I marked it yesterday or the day before that touches my heart. I was at a very down. No, Uncle Raymond also got up and down. When I mark this, it's really, I really literally and stand up and sit down. And sorry, yeah, that's Uncle Raymond. Uh. I was sitting there. I nearly say the F word in front of my house. My wife was looking. What the hell is it? No, when I'm happy, that's me. Okay. I was like, what the f***? Then my, my wife, what happened? Why, why your, your student uh, essay was make you until so angry? No. Then why? I literally seriously thought was being stunned there that this day and every day in our life, the reason is I saw my mom being transformed from a very introvert, from a very dementia person. And yesterday I attended the dementia talk, the last session with all my caregivers. Some even broke down and cried to show them. Thanks, Mingyi. Can you take all the stuff? Thank you. In fact, I agree with you that all the stuff. You see, Mingyi now want to reconcile with you, Harry. Say, don't come to my house. Huh? You come to my house, I share with you lollipop. Huh? Not to go to the other way, okay? But this each and every day, you remind me, guys, learn, relearn, and unlearn. And it is true. Because of this sentence later, you see the word he used, however. It changed the whole entire, the meanings of it. And this is something like an argumentative, explanatory, expository, and discursive. It's a hybrid essay. And that's why this essay is an MBA essay, right? Is it an MBA essay? No, it's a universal question. University. Universal. It is universal. Yes, question. it's a university essay. They have a deep talk. Remember, study stands for what? S T U D Y, right? Simply to understand deeply yourself. Ranchan, how you spell fear? E A R. Can you type to can you type in now? To the group now. I don't know how to do the spelling. I'm very poor. Thank you. And it stands for fighting every awful relationship. Cool, right? You see, fighting mm -hmm. every awful relationship, relationship with your parents, that relationship what? with yourself, relationship with your friends, oh, relationship geez. with your spouse, relationship with your brothers and sisters, siblings, relationship with your grandparents. This is called fighting every awful relationship. That is fear. In order to get rid of fear, you must have love, live on virtue everlasting. To get rid of hate, have all thoughts of evil because you have hope. Heaven often pray for everyone because you have faith. Father always instill true holiness. Okay, Father always instill true holiness. That's faith. Yes. Your parents have faith in you, have hope in you, and he has no fear in you. He has love in you. Now, guys, if you have all, I have all thoughts of evil, and you say this, I hate you, mommy, I hate you, daddy, you are bringing the Satan and the devil towards them. Never use the word hate. You know it's live on virtue everlasting, right? The word virtue, right? Right, virtue. You know it's virtue, right? Good things, right? Okay, carry on, please. However. Um, however, by receiving the results slip, it seems like I did a perfect, as if I actually learned everything and there's no more for improvement. It was like standing at the finishing line of the marathon. Okay, I just checked, huh? and I was right. Finishing line is UK. Finish line is US. Finish line is US. Yes, just check to confirm. Okay. Uh, so Steve Jobs once said, uh, stay hungry, stay foolish. Uh, oh, such yeah. humble oh, yeah. Stop, 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 stop. Children, you really have to stay hungry and stay foolish. One more thing, my take to you. Stay hungry because you want to acquire knowledge. Stay foolish because you want to act and learn from the best leader. Okay? You have to stay on top so that you will not stop and you will not drop and keep hopping to the top. You must stay to the top, not to drop because you want to be the best. So stay hungry, yes. Stay foolish, yes. This is what Steve Jobs, that is why Apple today is so popular. That is why today you are able to make it in your study. Remember, study means deeply understanding yourself. You need to know deeper. All right. Well done. Well said. Such a humble quote. Uh, such a humble quote from one of the world's pioneer founders of our current day technology. 
Um, in fact, for him stop to man. say such... Stop, man. All of you take note now. I cannot take it when you put a full stop and a comma and put an end there. Never start a sender with an end. <laughs> I'm waiting yeah, for wait, wait, wait. I'm waiting for Yufan to come in. Okay, Yufan, are you okay? Okay, this is very important because you didn't come in. We're talking about this part here. Yeah. Okay, you never start a sentence with an A-N-D. Don't ever do that. So, I would suggest all of you to use word in fact. Don't ever do that. So, I would suggest all of you to use word in fact. As a matter of fact, apparently, eventually. No, seriously. Because when you're going to secondary school, on, when you're talking about debating in a courtroom or in a broad room, a broad room, just say all the director. So, Ran Chen, let's say mm. now you start, you're the CEO of the company, okay? So, mm. you ask, ask me, I'm your staff. So, Raymond, what do you think about this project? Say now. Uh, you're my Raymond. boss, huh? So, you must be a boss. You don't know. Uh, Raymond, how you think about this project, huh? I tell you, I'm going to kick you. You must be like very bossy, you know? So, Raymond, so what do you think about this project? So, um, Raymond, what do you think about this project? Wow, so nice that my boss laughed at me some more. Eh? Come on, see how ten si si Can you be serious? Eh? I can't get serious right now. <laughs> okay, that might come. All yeah, right, so, nice. Raymond, what do you think about this project? Uh, sir, uh, apparently I think it's, it's going to be um, wonderful because basically my team is going to be very creative and we have a group of very disciplined group of people. And uh, definitely, I will give you the best projects that you ever seen. Not and, people, uh, it's leaders. Sorry? It's leaders, not people. What, what did I say? Okay, no, sorry. Uh, one more time. I will, I mean, sorry. Uh. Okay, apparently, it's boss. I think we have a very good um, team. And all of us here, we are able to support this project. Um, basically, we have a very creative uh, groups of team members. And we definitely can be able to deliver the project on time, uh, regardless of what it is. Uh, I think uh, eventually, sir, boss, don't worry. Eventually, we can complete this deadline. And finally, may I say that um, give us your full support, and I am very confident to do it. Get it now. Okay? This is the way you talk. It's, this is the way why I'm asking you when you write all these things. It's not for the sake of academic result, children. You have to talk in a broad room, in a real life. I'm sharing with you because I used to work in MNC. I was representing Nokia. Okay, I represent Fuji Xerox. I represent Siemens Mattress. I represent MNC company. Okay, I go into board room and talk to clients. And I work for my brother-in-laws who go and visit big company. And all this, what you're doing now is actually eventually you help you. Okay, so help you to do that. All right, Mingyi, don't type reading, huh? Because the next one is very important. Continue eating, huh? I really enjoy seeing you eating. Um, in fact, for him to say such a quote makes me believe that a man's journey in life isn't about reaching success. It's about being at your best at all times, staying modest, humble, and learning from failures. I would However, say you, I would prefer you to say staying humble and eating humble pie. That would be better. Okay. Right, good. Carry on. However, the irony to that is how failures are more beneficial and critical in our lives compared to success. That is the thing. Imagine this is a comprehension. This one, you copy your own or you write on your own? I, the whole thing, I wrote it on my own. Oh well, my goodness. You don't belong to a set two, man. You're over premature of your age, man. You're so old. Hey, everyone, you fans. Ming Yang, Ran Chen, you look like he's very old. Like Uncle Raymond. <laughs> very mature answer. Let me explain. Correct me if I'm wrong, Ran Chen. Be honest to me, all right? Okay. So what he meant here is that, however, the irony to that is how failures are more beneficial and critical in our life compared to success. It is no point, ladies and gentlemen, me, Harry, every time got A+. Plus. Me, Harry, always got being or well, praised and say compliment things about, well done, Ranton, you've done your best. What if one day I really feel in life? What if one day I cannot make it in life? Will people still pat on my back 
and my by my shoulder and say, well done. Or would they look down on me that this guy is useless and worthless and helpless? Is it this guy that, because all along have been success and you feel, what happened to him? Are we going to help him lend a helping hand? Or is it important that we need to do something to help him in terms of, because he's always successful. Now, they're in real life situation, ladies and gentlemen, that when a person is very successful and suddenly when he fail, all his friends gone. Nobody come back. So is it true that through failures, people, is, is it being blind that cannot see that this person has been failing and out of, the, out of a sudden, okay, sorry, out of a sudden he has been successful and out of a sudden he feels that everyone is being blind by his, his success that he cannot see his failure. And what happens if this guy cannot be successful in, in, in failure? Okay, this is very true story. When I was in uni, I heard this story from my professor saying that this lady who was, has been top all along in her life, and one day when she was about to go to the university to take her exam, she was late by five minutes. And her professor refused to let her go into the exam hall to take the exam. Guess what? She literally get, no, she get out of the hall, street naked, walk around the campus, and the next thing, when mongers sell, he went to the mental hospital. No, he has been all along successful in life. And suddenly just because he lived for five minutes for the exam, the professor refused her to take the exam. Then she walk out of the, 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 the lecture hall, the exam hall, and she go crazy. Why can't sometime in life we give people a second chance? And this is what I feel out. Maybe I'm wrong, okay, Ranton? Is it something that what you're in your thoughts? It's a one sentence, but there's a lot of meaning to it. Uh, this is where, if you are studying literature for upper secondary school, you will see this kind of sentences, something like that. And they all the examiner asks you, what do you mean by beneficial and critical in our life compared to success? What did the author mean by failures are more beneficial? So that means is, is the author encouraging each and everyone sitting here and go and fail. Go and tell mommy, mommy, my spelling got zero. Yeah, let's go. Go in and celebrate. Mommy, remember that day I told you my things got zero, right? I remember Chao Mei. I, I put that Chao Mei. Uh, Wu Zi, Wu Zi. Uh, so I got best result. Come, let's go and celebrate. Now, guys, is this all this Chao Mei and Wu Zi are all said by my younger son. Today, he learned Chinese differently. Today, he got this Shanghainese Chen Diao. Okay, he learned from my ex students, mommy. Okay, which is good. But then again, hi. Okay, let's go. Uh, all right. Um, failures. What, what do you think failures are? Are failures just to disappoint you? Are failures painful and depressing? Or are failures the stepping stones, a lesson to learn and a chance to actually understand your mistake? The answer, indeed, all of them. So you must put this, remember, uh, Ranjan, you only need a little spark to get even a better grade, to convince. Imagine this is a, a proposal to your client. You must always use a very powerful word, indeed. As a matter of fact, thank you, sir. Indeed, truly. Use the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Absolutely. Basically. Concurrently. Definitely. Excellent. Eventually. Frequently. Okay, E, F, G. Gracefully. Gradually. E, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Um, hopefully that we can come up with a good deal. Okay, initially. Uh, H, I, J. Justified. Use this kind of very bombastic word, especially you're talking about argumentative essay. All right, and it helps you to convince, to connect, to be creative, and what? To give you confidence, to allow the reader to accept it and score. All right, because we are writing a thesis, you, you guys are going to university, right? And your essay is not only one professor who's going to mark, no? there will be two professors going to go through. And if you are going for master, even higher. Anyway, we are doing doctorate, they're even higher. Okay, why? Because, guys, I cannot take teachers when anyhow mark paper. I cannot take teachers who tell me, very boring, must mark 
mark my student homework。一个医生怕血要做医生，一个警察怕抓贼，因为要怕开枪；一个一个军人怕怕东西，一个老师怕 mark paper。Then don't be a professional, because every marks is very important to your future and career. I expect all of you to write every single word you write must be have passions. All right. So indeed, all of them failures are disappointing, and when you actually found out, it will definitely dampen your mood. After all this hard work and time sacrifice to finish this, you have failed. That is the reason and the tone. You see, you will definitely dampen it. The word "definitely," it 一定，它肯定。你不可能讲它肯定，呃，它一定。哇，真的是很像那种女孩子，讨厌，完全你没来看我，死鬼。<laughs> I think you run away, man. 完全 ，it's just that Mingyi, Mingyi. 你可以不要写东西在我这边吗？讨厌。Then me was like, oh come on, Gravyman, you sucks, man. All right, let's go. Um, the toner. You see, you see, ah,、uh, before that, you see, it will definitely dampen your mood. You see, when I'm reading it, I feel it, no, as if I'm reading it aloud. Get it now? This is the 最高境界的 the best of it. Go, but it's but it's an opportunity, no a chance, no, for you. no. But it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity. This is a chance. You lose this chance, you're done. You can't. This is a chance. You lose this chance, you're done. You're done. I'm sorry. I'm telling you, your your boss is forming up already. Are you okay? <laughs> exactly, Yifu. You must be serious. But it's an opportunity, a chance for you to find out what went wrong. Can you imagine you're counseling someone? Who is about commit suicide? About to jump? They say, "Ah, you jump, jump, lor." You jump, ah. Why jump? I broke up with my boyfriend. Ah, jump, don't jump. Ah, you, you broke up with my boyfriend. I'm your 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 boyfriend. It's an opportunity, a chance for you to find out what went wrong in your work, what you could have done better, and getting that and what what get and, and getting, getting that, that excellent, excellent result. result. As a matter of fact, just like no, this. No, 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 no. As a matter of fact, you know, guys. Matter of fact. Yes, as a matter of fact, you realize that American business. As a matter of fact, come on, man. What do you do it? You realize they are very convincing. 美国人讲话很大声，做 action 的时候我不知道啦。我们是华人讲话，呃呃呃 ，as a matter of fact, I I really want to do it. It's not very convincing. You must be very convincing. You must taking the the things, the ball on your hands to control the whole situation. 明白吗，阮真 ？You are writing the essay to bring more marks, leh. Imagine this is a project, ten million dollars project, leh. 不是 monopoly money 啊。It's a ten million US project. Your boss already entrust you. Your whole of the entire year, your bonus and people will not get retrenched. Ah, two hundred staff is waiting for you. The job, no. Can you take this kind of scenario? Then, by the way, if this project cannot go through, that means two hundred people times four person. That means there are eight hundred people out of jail. You know, each family got four person. Now you go and times right, it's thousand six hundred people there. So you have to take it very seriously. So as a matter of fact, Mr. Klein, I think you seriously have to consider my proposal. Okay, the options that we have proposed to you eventually will help your company to succeed. As a matter of fact, it is good for you. Indeed, I must say this is one of the best proposals you can see from one of our competitors. We are talking about sales and marketing here. We are talking about finance. We are talking about a lawyer who telling the judge, Your Honor. As a matter of fact, Wang Chen did not kill the end. 那只蚂蚁是自己给车撞死，他的车只是塞位。So indeed, my client is innocent. Then the judge、no. said, "God, Ran Chen is not guilty for killing the end." But the judge said, "Yun Fan will say, 'Ah, GG, man.' <laughs> okay, carry on. Uh, without, I think, without, without as a、failure. matter of fact, just like this, you have grown and learned new knowledge. Without failure in our day-to-day -day lives, we we could not be able to be strong, a stronger person, a smarter person, and a wiser person. At the end of the day." We will only be forever stuck in the whirlpool of success, never going to be able to step a higher level. 
wouldn't we lose the purpose of life? Exactly. When you say the frog in the well, Jing Di Zi Wa. So the, you are taking it. I've been feeling, feeling in the well. I cannot get up, jump out and see the success. But yours is the other way around. You have been inside the well with all the success. You have not seen the real failure of the world. Next month is the biggest day to all the Buddhist people. Si Tia Mo Ni. You also say Ma Yishe? Yishe? Of course, how would I not know? Oh, Er Mi Tuo Pu. No, just ask lah. Yu Fan, now you know, he's a Buddhist Yes, I'm asking, uh, what? Hey, you're a Buddhist? Yes, I'm a Buddhist. Oh, I'm a Buddhist. Er Mi Tuo Pu, Tui Guo, Tui Guo. Yes? He's like, asking Christian, do you know Jesus? Uh, actually, he's my cousin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I agree. Do you know Si Jia Moni before that, he was in, he's a prince, right? Juna. He yeah. was locked out. Then the, the monk told the father, say, please do not let your son get out of the, the palace, right? If not, he, he foresee and predict that he will Su Jia become a monk, right? Because in his life, in a palace, he enjoyed all the luxurious things. So when the son now being Si, he never seen the real world up there. He doesn't appreciate it. He doesn't understand it. So eventually and gradually and definitely be living a life of roses, a bit of roses without thorns. And one fine day, there is his life. He get out of the palace. He saw Sen Lao Bing Si. Why people need to die? Why people need to suffer? Why people have to be tortured? Why there's poverty? And he start to understand, hey, all this success, uh, it's like nothing. It's a pinch of salt. Hey, I'm living a life. I'm so comfortable. Hey, come on, guys. I need to do something for the world. As a prince, I'm not just to sit there and enjoy with luxurious and enjoy the fruit of success. Because I enjoy this fruit of success, it's because of all these people have filled their life to make me I'm successful. It's my turn to my duty and my responsibility and my task to go back to society and help these people. That is why it's very important. That is why I got a lot of black, black things in my farm. That is why Whoever do it, thank you. You you need to eat it, huh? So my, that 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 little baby. That's why, huh? Okay, let's go. After all, I shouldn't. I realize that I shouldn't just stop here. Even if I have become the best in class, even if I have become stop the it. world's smartest person, I will not stop learning. I will not stop failing, and I ultimately will not satiate my insatiable hunger for knowledge. Well, I will never get satisfied. With unsatisfied hunger, I will continue. That I'm going to look for it. I'm I'm hungry for it. Hungry for what? You put that I'll satisfy my insatisfied hunger for knowledge. And if I need to feel, write down our ranchen somewhere. And if I need to feel, yeah. Do you think this black color thing is satisfying? Uh, it will be very satisfying if you stop the satisfying color. That will I will be very satisfied not to do those satisfying color. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it's okay, Minnie. Why are these? It's really nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. Let's let, red, me, let me um help uh run chen so so you can say that now. Okay. Um failures, just how much did I say, Ranchen? You say Sunday I got broke, broke off the train of thoughts. You said something on so if I will not stop from my knowledge here, I will continue to uh, to vision to, to look through the horizons of failures okay the horizon of failures in life I'm still young I believe there's still ups and downs in my life using FISPOP right papers idioms similes places occupation and proverbs there will be ups and downs in my life and stop it don't do anything because it's disrupting me I'm so sorry yeah. there will be ups and downs in my life okay I'm still young I need to have a sense of some failures in my life so that I can achieve greater success, not for myself, for my next generations, and for a better of tomorrow of me. Okay, we need to learn, we learn and unlearn. Get it now, Ranchen? I hope ever, everyone heard this. Okay, failure is part and puzzle. Yes, we heard that. But I would want to say that since I'm still young, I strongly believe, you see the word, I strongly believe that I sincerely believe there's room for improvement for me. To have failures now without failures today we will not see a better self of me of myself tomorrow so i think that's the topic right okay for yaya and uh yanessa that is the topic i we i use it for last week for them so if you want to 
uh, you can check on the Google website. So there's different level answering the failures. So how many marks? My highest is 47 to 48. Yeah, very close to it. That's an A1. Eh? Definitely A1. Because he's so snobbish, I don't want to give him 48 marks. Because he say every time you got A plus, so I purposely for 46 lah. No, no, okay, la. go MSG. <laughs> okay. Well done. I think it's a very good essay. So uh Mingyi share this one to the class. Okay. I love it. La. Okay. If you are free, then go and read that. I really enjoyed it. La. It's very interesting. Okay, well done. That's a quick one. La. Just to show that you see, I have it. Mingyi, I've got it. La. Okay, then let's go to another whose lesson. I got a lot today, so give me a while first. Uh, this one is Mingyi one. Mingyi, very interesting. Hi. Very interesting. Oh, wow, I read, read until very interesting. Very not... interesting. That one, wow, very good. Wow, bro, very interesting. No. no. Can you just conclusion. explain first what Where about the CME? Your conclusion plays the wrong conclusion. You place a fishing trip for what? Yeah, I know. I forgot. Yeah, so I can I haven't finished it. So please give me the conclusion, okay? Can? Can I? Uh? Okay. This time is much better than the previous one, definitely. The more you write, the better it is. Okay. Okay, so I just changed now. Next one. I'm going to <laughs> Ming Yang. Are you there? Mingyang, you see, uh, very funny, uh, you write, right? I told you before, children, you understand? And yeah, yeah, please take note for formal or informal email, you must have address, email address. And I forgot to put that, you must have a date. I also forgot to put that, you have, must have a date there. So it's a two from date. But they two say from the date. date is optional. No, no, I know it's optional, but I'm talking in the real life. I'm teaching you real life. I'm not just teaching you academy. I want to teach you in real life. That means next time you are a manager, a boss. You see, I'm Johnny, a customer of your store who recently, don't, don't do that already, Mingyi, please. Okay? They want to buy an iPhone and things like that, okay? At one, please do not put one in the afternoon. You must write in words. The Cambridge is very particular in this. Okay? And if you want to put one PM, please do not put one P and M. You must put one in the afternoon or half past one in the afternoon. It's a mass, huh? And I'm very, very particular in this. But on this one, 11 of April, it's okay to put like that. But one in the afternoon must O-N-E, one. Okay, it's okay, huh? Ming -Yang, Ming -Yang, I'm just sharing. Huh? Okay, so you must put that. Are you blind with these things? You see, he called me to, okay. All right, that's a quick one. Huh? Because I want to go through this, okay? So oh, I wish that oh. you may think of an appropriate solution to solve this problem. Yes, who is that issue? For the time, can I put in this way? Right. No. Yeah, you Oh, two, you must put 23 minutes past two okay. o'clock. Sorry, sorry, one more time. You should table see. Uh, let's say 20 minutes. Uh, 20 right? Example, huh? So 20 minutes past two in the afternoon. Because you don't put in the afternoon, what, what's the monster down? It's midnight. I said, oh my goodness. Whether it's midnight or afternoon, okay? Thanks for sharing, huh? Okay. So you see, you see, I use the word, remember the A, B, C, D, E, F effect. Absolutely, basically, concurrently, definitely, eventually, frequently. You see, I'm John Lee, a very frequent customer who visit your store. I was very surprised that uh, after the poor incident of salesman A, today you have salesman B, who is a very friendly and patient and understanding salesman. Uh, things like that. Well done. Huh? Then you wrote. Okay, this part, huh? this one is much better. Okay, I like I like the way you put that. Okay, but can you put this? I hope you can look into this matter soon. Thank you for taking your precious time reading this email. Now, I told you before, I got students keep arguing with me. I don't know about uh, Yanasa and Yaye, whether your teacher like it or not. I already discussed with all my students here. Okay, have a good day and take care. Some teachers cancel straight away, cancel this last sentence and just totally delete off. Okay, I don't think there is anything wrong to say have a good day and take care because the format email is a very courteous, encouraging and polite tone. All right, but I think this view is nothing wrong. Even you want to put God bless you, also nothing wrong. Okay, I got student arguing with me, my teacher cancelled, no, I even did not mark. Uh, this is very ridiculous, man. Seriously, I am not teaching just academic. So, okay.
next. Yu Fan, okay. I'm a customer of a shop, blah, blah, blah. Say, okay, don't need to, if you put Mr. Chan, don't put salesman A already. As misbehave, all right? And don't you agree that? So this is, I just get a quick one uh, to a few because I want to go through the test data, okay? Thank you for the time offer. Uh, thank you for the time offer and close the letter. Can share your time, and then we can put this email to the end. So instead of putting this, I suggest you put this. I sincerely hope that your kind authority can. Hey, Yu Fan, ah, do you receive my my update one in the Google Classroom? I sent it to you last night. This one. So please take note, huh? Okay, take note of this part here. I sincerely hope that your kind authority. I want all of you to write this. I sincerely hope that your kind authority can take my suggestion into considerations. Your immediate action is very much appreciated. Once again, thank you for taking your precious time to read this email. I hope to hear from you soon. Or some people put this. I hope to hear from as uh, as soon as possible. Also, can take care and have a great day ahead. Okay. And I want to show Liang Ning one. Firstly, so I uh, no this one is a failure. So. Okay, this one failures. I don't want to show first. Hey, eh, Dang Ning is not there. Here yeah, he is. Oh, oh, okay. Dang Ning, this is an email. Sorry, I forget to put an L here. This is an email, not a letter. Unless you say it's a letter, fine. Ah, it's okay. Ah. Letter is supposed to be a letter. Email, complete email. Oh. Okay. No, okay, it's okay. I would like to file a complaint against one. Okay, straightforward one. No. Tan tao zi lu, straight to the point. I would like to file the complaints against one of the staff who is currently under your employment. I like. Wow, this is very, very professional and very straight to the point. Like just now, when I call Star Hub. Okay. Wait. Oh. Sure. Jiang Jiang. Ah, I thought. Complaint is for bad, but complaint is for like telling the boss that someone is very good like that. Compliment. Tell me your sister. Complaint and compliment. I did check. Compliment, right? Compliment, right? Compliment is praise. Compliment. Compliment is spelled with an M E N T at the back. Yes, correct. This is complaint. Ah, sorry, ah. Who wrote that just now? This one, uh, okay, not this one. I think it's Ming Yang. Let me show Ming Yang's essay. Ah, uh, um, complete Ming Yang. Yes. Next compliment. Okay, this one, this one. Ah, uh, compliment 就是赞扬啊。医师，看到好。然后 complain 就是这个。所以很很容易记住的 ，guys. Complain to complain. Now in the email, in your exam, there will be a complain and compliment. 一个是投诉，一个是赞扬。Okay. In your email letter, okay, both, okay, it's confirmed that you will be tested in this manner. All right. So, um, who is out already? You, you found out already, is it? Is you found out already? Ranchan, you found not in, right? I guess so. Oh, what happened, ah? Okay, sorry, I got no time. I got to go through the other ones with you. Where's Where's Yang Ning one, ah? It's suddenly I I lost Liang Ning one. Hey, wait, give me a minute, Liang Ning, Liang Ning. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I like this. Ah, uh. okay. Under your employments, who goes by the name of wow, very strict to the point, very precise. Okay, I like that. I like the start of this. Ah,、uh, and then on the day, say by by a phone when on that day, which day? Remember, complain and compliments. You must say three very important things: the time, the place, and who is ah、uh, where. Oh,、well, I forgot to put the date. It's okay, you find okay. So, ah,、uh, never mind. Okay, the time, the place, and and where, the place and where is a bit different. Sometimes it can be a shopping center, but where, which level, things like that. Okay, but sometimes it's not handphone shop. Maybe when you walk on the second level, there's this pool of water dripping from the aircons. Then got one old lady fell down. So you must be very precise at the locations. It's just like imagine all of you are police officer. 
okay? And someone come to you to complain someone, uh, um, uh, the bad laws in, in a park or in a, in a Starbucks or in the shopping center, then you must find the place, the time, the venue, where is it, the color of the bag, things like that. So as a regular customer who patronize your store to buy straight away, I know that this is a very valuable customer. I cannot offend him, therefore I must find way to analyze this. Like just now when I call Starbucks, Okay, I was at Tuas Link and they put that international roaming land. Yipo, Tuas Link, I really say I'm at Tuas Link. They got, I, I was being charged by international roaming. You know what she asked me? So you didn't go to Malaysia? Well, I already at Tuas Link. I did not travel to Malaysia. You want to check my passport? My passport cannot, not charge, did not charge uh, Malaysia. Then he asked me second time. So you are in Tuas Link lah. <laughs> Never travel, cannot travel. I was studying in Twas Link in under this building. Oh, so confirm you didn't go Malaysia. La. Oh, my gosh. oh, I can tell you. What two share? What I Beijing. Oh, you没有去上海了？没有，我在北京。你看到我在拍照吗？在长城。哦，说你没有去广州了。我的妈！I cannot take it, guys. I'm seriously, I want to laugh. No, I say. Not must complain already. Must complain. I say I'm in twasling, twasling. In the then I say I switch off the handphone. You show me. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, you didn't go to Malaysia, lah. Oh, yeah. I keep emphasizing. Then I fell down. Is this phone recorded? Yes, okay. So you want to replay back now? I don't repeat already. <sighs> okay, can you take away, please? Thank you. Okay, it's true. Huh? Just now, I think my wife said, I'm very rude. Man. I said, you did not hear the conversation between me and the girl. Then I explained to my wife, then she keep quiet. So if you are the person, you fed up or not? Ay, yeah. So, okay, so um, got back to very rude. And after hearing those rude and sarcastic remarks, yes. So you already got evidence. This is your evidence to prove it. I felt disappointed, angry. Always use two adjectives, uh, guys. You don't just put disappointed. You must say oh, you felt disappointed and felt agony. I felt disappointed and frustrated because this. So it's to emphasize your feelings. So it's just like, if I don't like Ranchen, I just, I, I'm, I'm not happy Ranchen. But if I were to say, I'm not happy Ranchen and I felt frustrated of what he had done. So it's a bit, then you can emphasize on that. Okay, uh, I'm happy with uh, Yipo. Why? I'm happy with Yipo and, and glad that he has less hair than me. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the way Yipo look at you, Uncle, you got more less hair? Got more hair? Uh, don't talk about hair. Uh. I just recently go and cut hair. Don't laugh. Uh. I say, I want to cut hair. Oh, your hair so need to cut. You see? Sure. Another guy being sarcastic <laughs> to my hair again. He said, I want to your cut hair. Your hair oh, cut really no I, more. You won't grow back. Then I'm going to touch you on. You need to cut I look at him. Hey, I see. There are more cut. I'm cut. I'm doing the same thing. There are more cut. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I, some people I don't understand why. Okay. So right. Let's. But your salesman put customer at the last place. Furthermore, we ask for inspection of products. Okay. And give me. I tell you, ah, uh, Liang Ling. If this person were to take a handful and bang, you say, you say. I just took one look and let's see. You see, he 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 then slam the phone. Ah. Uh, who the clown, the stupid salesman can take the phone and stamp? Exactly. Yeah. If he did that, that means he's going to resign He's going to resign from the shop already. Exactly. Possible. So that means he's asked for it. Then he's going to get punished, man, seriously. Okay, exactly. Don't... So that's why I paint such a character. Yes, guys. It's good. So I was like looking at it. It's like he's really, really, uh, really, I think he has a bad, bad qualms with bad feelings with the customer, I mean, with the company already. Okay. Um, Aitan, is this yours? Yes. Aitan put it now. Is it yours? Yes. Ah, finally, yeah. Uh, what is the competition? This one, you are your own from website or you want to I thought of it myself. Okay, well done. Eh? In fact, all of you, in fact, all, all the students here, you're one of the youngest. Eh? And you can do this. Eh? I consider, I really salute you. 
我拜你啊 ，OK， well done， OK， even though it's five and a half， but OK， 啊、uh, ，你有收到这个 ？Do you receive this essay in the Google Classroom？ Yeah. Okay, I already sent to you already. Okay, but because of time constraints, okay, you take a look first. Okay, what does what means to you? No, do you know some of the answer here? I'm teaching history for set three and four. Okay, some of them this this one are, are not found in the textbook in in Singapore history textbook for studying, uh, World War One. Uh, and then some of the answer is very interesting. Well done. And I am going to share your with your permissions with my set three and four. Because they will not find this answer. I don't know where you get it, but it's quite. I would say certain part is quite true. Ah, uh, okay. Not say wrong. Ah, uh, but you take the effort to put it in. Okay, the word is called perish. 就是呃灭亡，全军覆没，好像死掉的意思。Okay, that is called perish. Okay, the word used perish here is very. Um, I would say is use it usually in a war. More often. Okay, I done. Okay, can ah. The word "vet" now, this word "vet" is the sentence itself is very blurry. Okay, so when you see my curvy, curvy line here like that, oh, like this, out to be perfect, this sentence, is the whole sentence is not complete. We can ensure that war does not happen by maintaining peace between countries by signing an anti-fire agreement or by not affecting other countries. What do you mean? You should put that in order to prevent war from happening again. You no, know, some people literally took the word "anti-fire" literally. Okay. Ah,、uh, let me explain this one. Ah,、uh. in order to prevent wars from happening, countries should settle down in a in a peaceful treaty and agreements. Okay, to back for anti um um anti war instead of anti fire, anti war. Okay, I done 写下来 anti war. Okay, the word is anti war. Since ah、uh, you like history, I will suggest some of you will like history. Please take this seriously, ah.、Uh. Anti-war, it's not anti-fire. Anti-war agreements, or the word anti means against, right? Pro-war means support war, lah. That's World War One, World War Two, like the Axis power, Japan, Italy, and Germany. Okay. So I put that agree. You see, I put two tick there. You see, when the country is being threatened, and in some cases, it's not to gain extra territory. Yes, it's true. Some time is not because of. 为了那个抢那个地盘，那个泥土的 place， but because 为了面子问题， I done if you were right like that would be better. Sometimes it's not because of territory, because of face value, because of reputation. Reputation 就是名誉， right? So so I'm so sorry, ah.、Uh. Some of you might not happy with me. It's just like recently people say, should Taiwan return to China? Should Hong Kong and Macau continue to be part of China, or should the China get out of the South China Sea, the Spratly Island, Diao Yu Dao, and then because of other country involved, so you have to know the history of the past of China. It has been annexed and attacked by Lao Wai, okay, of an open war. But now they are just protecting. First and foremost, did China shoot a single bullet to kill anyone? Which compared in the past, when people annex China and kill so many citizens in China. Just like slavery, ah,、uh, the American tells、uh, human rights, but who has the most slavery in the past? I'm not supporting against ah,、uh, please ah,、uh, I'm just talking about reality, rational, and and the evidence. Okay, this is where okay when you are doing all these things, eventually I want you to bring this in real life to feel it. So when you write, you know that you are not just doing for academic purpose. They are doing for ability to understand in real life. So when you are doing all these things, sometimes when a teacher will argue with you or your teacher tells you, you can use your eight W and one H. Um, teacher, first of all, I didn't mean to be defiant with you, but I'm just wondering how come some of my classmates can attend the remedial class where I was not inside the remedial class, which I really enjoy and want to attend. So if the teacher will explain, so then how? So you see, Yu Fan. So you see, Ran Chen or Ming Yi or Liang Ning. Or Ye Ye Nasa or Ye Ya Ye Ming Yang. Okay, Ai Dan, Ran Chen, Yi Bo, Yi Shi. Because you guys are doing a good job, but because of the COVID nineteen, the remedial class only get certain people. So we need to do alternative. But if you are really interested, then I will arrange. Then the next question will ask. So how teacher? 
then I will be able to know that I'm able to attend this. So when you're asking about H-A-M-A-L-A, -A -A, higher ability, medium ability, and lower ability questions, then pe people will treat you in a leadership quality. You don't talk to people like, why, why cannot? How come? Why are you like that one, teacher? Then people will not respect you. So when you're using the technique for answering questions, it's the same of using S-M-A-R-T. Where is the setting? The teacher. Who is the main character? You and the teacher. What kind of atmosphere? Very tense, ma, because you're not happy. Your, your friend can go for remedial and then they will know what is the, the tips that they come out for the exam. So the atmosphere is very tense. So how is it going to form the rhythm? How are you going to bring yourself to the next paragraph, to the next topics, to the next argument, to the next question that you want to ask? So what is the title? The title is, I die, die, must attend the remedial class. So then if you, since you want to die, die, you, that you want to attend the remedial class with your friends, then you have to craft up an architect of the questions that you are able to argument, argumentative, explanatory, expository, narrate your feelings, discuss with the teacher why, and then recount to say that, you see, teacher, okay, because recently this is one, my parents cannot afford me to go for tuition, or my parents say that uh, I've been playing handphone game, so in order to prove that they were wrong, so I want to attend the class so that I want to love them, I want to show appreciation, so will you be kind enough to put me into the class, I tell you your teacher will have nothing to say. That is the reason for argumentative essay or all this thing. All right? Okay, that's all. Yes, just nice, Yang Ning. I also need to go for my next lesson. So as a matter of fact, um, the, the seven questions, uh, I will put it inside. Give me one last one here. Wait, uh, give me, give me, give me, give me. Where's my lessons? So yeah, yeah, and... And Yanisa, just take note of this one. Okay. These are the seven questions, exam questions. You have two choices. All right. One is you complete the whole essay, 350 words, and hand it to me. I don't want you guys to use your handphones. I don't want you to go to Google Internet to check. By right, these seven essays are supposed to do here. Can you copy here? By right, today, uh, today, uh, you're supposed to copy this, this one. Do you see that? This is under the Padlet. You're supposed to do it on the spot immediately. So next Sunday, if I don't see your essay hand in, I will want you guys to do it. I might come up with another seven different questions. Okay, some of you have done it fine. So may I become a seven different questions and ask you to test it on the spot to do it. Okay, can I? Yes, thanks for copying the. No profanity okay. in class. The F off can be fly off. Yeah, unless you spell the whole thing, I will agree with you. Agree. Okay. But, anyway. But mostly when we use it, but, but mostly ah. when, when we type that right we actually mean the uh you see you mean not i mean nothing wrong Liang Ning. that's good oh, okay yeah mm -hmm. it's you mean one man smith and unless you really spell off with evidence you see? well done okay what Liang Ning says is true okay anyway uh you know I'm and also I spell now. The word anyway, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The letter F. i didn't see how many letters no 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 that's why i'm not really okay i can i can still say Say it's not profanity, but then I can say it's a bit offensive. I like the two of you arguing like that. Seriously, that's the way. Well done. It's not being bully, yeah. This is where like you are both of you are lawyer defending yourself, but in a very professional, in a very productive. Remember the P, very professional, productive. Uh, and then uh, I don't know why how Ranchen is so happy la laughing like that. He 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 caught fish. What fish? Okay, whatever it is, guys, thank you so much. And say Ming Yang to hi to your little brother if he's waking up. So this is your homework, okay? Go to Google Classroom. And I actually, I prefer you to type it out. If not, then write on a piece of full step paper, take a picture, send it to WeChat or send it to Google Classroom. And now you saw Ming Yang, Ming Yi one, right? He wrote on the full step paper and took a picture on it, right? So send it, that is the homework. I really need to use that. 
to show it to my boss that after three months, minus Yaye and Yanasa, uh, please, uh, the, those of you, the eight student, I tan maybe, Kalan, you eat in challenge. Uh, I don't want anybody to copy. I'm serious. Stop. I don't want anybody to copy anything. I want you to really write according to how you write. All right, don't copy anything. So, so how are you going to check? Send it to me, okay, by Google Classroom. Yeah, but how are you going to check if you copy? I and trust by you the way, I'm not, I'm not challenging you to go, uh, challenging you. I'm just asking as a matter no, of No, 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 no. I you... never, never doubt your, whether you're challenging me or not. I really like your honesty. You remember? Your integrity and sincerity and trust with me. I trust all of you here that you will not do it because I will have a way to check. Very good questions. And I will not tell you now. I will later I'll show you. Okay, so guys, that is your homework. Okay, I'm going to put it in the Google Classroom. Okay, next week, then I will do, if some of you did not hand in, fine. Don't hand in last minute, nah, like tomorrow got tuition, today you hand in. Nah. All right, I want you really to spend one hour to sit there and put there. Learning in progress, exam. Please do not disturb. Switch off your handphone now. Nah. As if you are in the exam hall, taking the exam. Switch off your handphone. Just be honest. Write down the start time and the end time. Okay? Like for example, you start on the 17th, uh, no, 21 of April, 3 p.m. Then you end at 4.10 p.m. You put there 4.10 p.m. Okay? And then put your name of student, your name. 